Hey, what's up everybody? Captain Awesome here with a different kind of video for you today. Today we are doing a video about, um, let's see, let's come up with a name for it. Got it. This is the Do Be Real Cap segment. Oh yeah, the Do Be Real Cap segment. Get it? It's doobie time. And we're going to be real. So, we're going to be talking about a little bit of Fallout uh, 76. We will be talking about life and rainbow bagels. What? Yeah. Okay. So, first off, I'd like to say I do apologize for uh, kind of disappearing. And I did tell you guys I needed a break. Um, uh, lots of stuff happened to at home where basically I was going to just give it all up. Uh, I did cancel my subscriptions to the, my member subscriptions, I should say, to uh, some of you members like DTD, uh, Lore Spade, um, Tonic, SH, but that's because that's financial, uh, actually. Unfortunately, this pandemic is still going on, even though we're in June and it should be over. Um, it has not been over, and I'm still at home with no job other than watching my kids, which is a full-time job if you think about it, but uh, my wife's working, and so yeah, I guess I just want to say I am going to be back on YouTube. I am going to make videos again because I love Fallout 76, um, and I just seem to really want to make videos. I just don't know exactly if I'm going to stick with uh, atomic shop reviews or base it on atomic shop items um, I really do like it uh, don't know why the atomic shop is just I just like cool items like that now I can go overboard and spend a lot so the goal eventually to be real here is to get monetized so that I can afford to both buy the items and buy coffee because I mean I can't survive without coffee one second. So that's, that's uh, my real life going on right now. So there's uh, some complications and some issues which brought me into depression and uh, I don't know. I, I have to tell myself it was kind of stupid and just jump the hell out of there because that's what I do. I might fall for, for a little while and I think like everything's crushing me and then all of a sudden I just... Texas Smash! Uh, on to Fallout 76 news. Um, I heard they're, the PTS is removing unyielding from the option because it's too OP or whatever. So, yeah, that's good news, because that means they're going to work on it, and they're going to bring it back. Everybody complaining, everybody saying, oh, they're removing it, oh my god, who cares? They're going to bring it back. There is unyielding in the game. They're not going to just make it go away. They're going to work on it and release it at a later date. This is what continuously happens. I don't understand why there are so many people who think that Bethesda is just trying to go against everyone and trying to break everything. It's that's This is their baby. This is their game. One of their babies. Let's be real. I got five, so I totally get it. This is like their, their middle child or, or their second last child right now. And they want to make sure that it's fine. Like... Yes, yeah, sometimes it, it just works, but most of the time, they do a pretty damn good job at fixing the stuff that they need to get to, and then they even jump ahead of themselves and jump on everything else that players are like, oh, we want this fix, oh, we want that, oh, we want that, because the community is kind of a big deal, so they have to put everything aside to work on these minor little glitches or takes that you guys like all point out and I I get it that's what we're supposed to do but sometimes these little minor complaints that I hear about and then I 
you see the company going right after it, doing bans or or stopping these to 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 block that. I don't know. It's just there. There's a lot in so many departments of, of this game that that are broken that are being tossed at the developers for them to have to fix, and no one's happy. And by that I mean, once they fix one thing, well, the group that wanted the other aren't happy that that wasn't fixed, so they're bad mouthing. They're they're doing everything against Bethesda, rioting, and then it's like, okay, well, we're gonna fix that because they really want that. So let's postpone the release date of this new event or the this season, or let's extend the scoreboard because we haven't been able to fix or hot fix that final problem. So now they're working backwards and they're halting production or halting updates because we told them to, and then we complain about it. So, I don't know. Fallout 76, doing a great job. I'm excited for the future. Um, I am very excited about Season 7 of the series, actually. It is going to be in November, I believe it is. And that is when the, being Canadian, I'm going to say it this way, don't care, come at me, the Zatans are going to be showing up. Um, you saw it on the roadmap, as well as Season 5 being Steel Rain, and Season 6 being Coming Soon as the title. The only info we have on Season 6 after Steel Rain update for uh, July is the fall update for season six. Now we're not talking scoreboards. Scoreboards are a season behind, I believe, or a season ahead. Um, yeah, season behind. Season. Oh, I can't remember. No, they're a season ahead. Anyways, the JD, uh, KD, Inkwell scoreboard and the Armor A scoreboard are not the seasons we are talking about. We are talking about the roadmap seasons. Season six only has uh, private server updates. One moment. Talking Cats puts out the uh, Doobie, and we can't really have a Doobie Real Cap segment without the Doobie. So, anyways, um, Season 6. We are heading to Season 6 after Steel Rain with no idea what it's actually going to entail. It's not just going to be an update. It's going to be a full thing. But if you guys paid very, very close attention, you will notice that... In Season uh, 5, we will be making choices and deciding which faction we go with. That is also including the big rumor amongst the community about Valdez being uh, potentially the third faction. And so let's hope the she brings back the Enclave, the Appalachian version of the Enclaves, and brings them back to flu, a fruition. It's a good idea. You know, Bethesda. I'm sure that's where you're going with that. But that being said, let's go with a lot of games now that have the mechanics of choose your own adventure. Look at the wording on the roadmap and tell me that the decisions we make in Steel Rain, which faction we choose, by the time half, by the time half of the season is done they'll have their their statistics on which faction the majority of the people who have already played and beat it have chosen to go side with. And I'm pretty sure that if it's all going to be about the third faction, not about the sellers, not about the raiders. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. Brotherhood of Steel, um, and so on. What What's actually going to happen is Season 6, because it says, will be based on our actions that we chose in season five that means they have had to have been working on season six which we have the roadmap so it's fair to assume that they have um they will grab our information from season five sorry i got brain fart there and we'll put it as what we what happens in season six uh, which factions will be on top, where the story goes. They have to have had this, 
like two probably two different paths um okay so if our our community goes this way then we're going with brotherhood of steel is reigning champion of season six if we're going this way and i'm going to use enclave of course as the the idea here uh we're going to go with val vasquez or valdez and she goes with the enclave that's where the community is going that's where the story is driven but do you want to know why it doesn't matter and that's only for that season because when it comes down to it the world's going to end Season 7. Thanks for all the fishes. That's right. When the aliens come, it doesn't matter what happened to the Brotherhood or to that. This is why they made it in that sense. And then all at the end of the roadmap, it, tell, it shows you um, how they're going to be coming and invading. And then it turns into humanity versus... Starfield? That's my thought on the full roadmap that's coming soon. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to see which way they take. I love having production predictions and them not coming true or showing me where I went wrong on my thought and constantly updating. And that's what that's what keeps me going. You know, like I look at something and I'm like, ooh, I they there's that possibility. And then they they go towards it and I'm like, oh yeah, 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 that's the way they're going. And they pull a 45 degree turn or a 90 degree turn and they go completely different direction. That's cool. New theories, new methods. Oh, I didn't expect that. I didn't see that coming. You know, it's kind of, Bethesda is kind of, uh, I, I, I want to call it, they like to pull the pimento effect. You never know what's going to come out of them. You know, uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine reference. So, so yeah. I think that's pretty much my take on the Fallout 76 currently uh, for the roadmap and the unyielding. Um, part 3, Rainbow Bagels. Yeah. So, any of you have kids? I'm a dad, obviously. You guys know that. And there's nothing crazier... I keep just talking, so I'm not smoking. Which is fine. Do be real, Cap. Do be real. Which is exactly what I'm doing. So, uh, there's these things. These rainbow bagels. Fresh from Walmart. Fresh from the bakery in the back. They bake them, put them in bags. Five or six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to a bag. And uh, they sell them for pretty high price. I think it's like three ninety seven or five ninety seven for for a bag. So that was one with cream cheese that I made for my kids. But it's got all the colors. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah. So um, Walmart likes to bring them out and then take them away. Why? Every single kid that I've come across that comes to my house when I see rainbow bagels and I stock up on them, want them. I just bought the pack that I found on in the uh, discount rack because they, I guess they're expiring. It doesn't matter because they're gone already. The, as you saw, the last one that I was showing you guys was because I was making it for my son. And between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock, or I guess it's 9 o'clock now, um, they're all gone. Sorry, the bug just kind of landed. I got trees up above, and bugs like to fall in ants and stuff. So yeah, Walmart, or if anybody that works at Walmart and head office... And you play Fallout 76, so you're watching this. Leave the rainbow bagels on the shelf. All kids want them. They call them unicorn bagels, rainbow bagels, or I want those color circles. Yes, my daughter called them color circles once. So, life, Fallout 76, rainbow bagels. That just about covers it all. I'd like to just leave one final thought and for the Fallout community to always remember to stash your junk. That's right. Rule number one of the wasteland, stash your junk. 
And for those who still don't have Fallout First, I would strongly suggest get Fallout First. If you don't have it, you don't need it. But once you have it, you can't go without it. Um, the box, the survival tent, the, the scrap box is, is key, actually. Uh, you get some atoms, uh, exclusive outfits. There are quite a few free ones. Uh, however, it's honestly $17.99 a month. Canadian is not that bad. Uh, I would pay for the yearly if I were you. Um, slight discount that way, and but it is worth it. Everything goes with the price now. If you're on Xbox, it's every you you know everything costs you. Whether you want to play online, you want to borrow a game, you want to do this, you want to do that. Everything costs now. So just get with the times. Get Fallout first. Stash your junk. And thanks for watching. Have a good one, everybody. See ya. I'm gonna stop singing this song because I'm high. I'm singing this whole thing wrong because I'm high. And if I don't sell one copy, I know why. Why, baby? Because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high.